Now, I've been a teacher on Skillshare for about five years now, and during that time, I've created 30 classes ranging from art to drawing, design, entrepreneurship, and lifestyle. And from these 30 courses, I've earned a total of $43,086. Now, the cool thing about this is that most of this I would consider being passive because I'm not really active on Skillshare anymore, but they still generate a monthly revenue for me and a monthly income, which I'm going to show you in just a second here. And I'm also going to explain to you why I consider this being almost 100% passive at the moment. Now, if you are intimidated by the fact that I have 30 classes on Skillshare, that sounds like a lot of work. And it is in some way, but at the same time, I'm going to show you exactly how I created these classes and talk about it because it's not really a complicated process. And that's what I like about Skillshare. They make it really simple to just create a class and upload it because I was already doing the things that I'm teaching. So I was already sketching. I was already talking about some business related topics and art and design, all I did was just record the process and narrate over what I was doing and then compile that into a short concise straight to the point class. Now, I would encourage you to go and click my referral link down in the description. What this will do is Skillshare will give you two weeks of a premium membership. That means you can enroll in any type of class that you like, including my own design sketches if you want to go and check those out. So you can see the format of how simply my classes are built up and also other classes, of course, to get some inspiration. If you are even considering creating a class of your own, I think it can be really useful to use these two weeks of premium membership to see what is on Skillshare and how teachers are building up their classes. It's just a great idea to go and check out how simply these classes are built up. So if you want to do that, you can click the referral link down below in my description to get your two weeks premium membership for free. And then once you see just how simple the format of my classes are on Skillshare, I think you're not gonna be as intimidated as you might think you would be otherwise, because they're really simple, straight to the point. That's what I like about Skillshare. I prefer to learn short courses that tackle one topic or one subject at a time and not have a, let's say, two or three hour long course because it just feels so over overwhelming to just start the first lesson in such a long course. I prefer them to be 30 to 45 minutes and that seems to be what Skillshare prefers as well. So what I wanna do now is just quickly show you how you can create a class very easily on Skillshare. Now, this is not a sponsored video by Skillshare. This is just my own experience using the platform and I wanna share it with you because it's worked so well for me that I want uh, more people to open up their minds about what's possible online with just a little bit of work and a lot of patience, obviously. So here we are on Skillshare. And if you create an account, you're going to see this homepage right here. So what you wanna do is go up to teach up here and then you just click create a class. Now you're gonna get directed to this page right here, which is has a lot of information about Skillshare, has some examples from teachers and their classes right here. And then they have a teach challenge I'm not a big fan of these kind of challenges that they have but if you're if you want to have some more guidance maybe that could be a good idea and then how teaching works and also some as frequently asked questions down here but we want to go all the way down and then go to create your class and start a class right here with this green button down here. So if we click this, you're gonna see just how simple the layout is for creating a class. So at the left-hand side here, you have your class info, what you wanna call your, call your class. You have the video lessons that you upload right here. And you can see Skillshare classes average 20 to 60 minutes total of running time compared to other platforms where they sometimes prefer hour longs or two, three hour long classes, which I said could feel very heavy. So these are snappier classes, it's easily digested and it's also very easy to create these classes because here's the thing I've talked about this before but I, I kind of want to hammer it in because I think this is a problem that a lot of people have is that they don't know what they're passionate about and they don't know what to create classes on if this is something that you're thinking about so just to bounce off some ideas here most people are working a day job doing something that they sometimes love sometimes hate but let's say you're a fan of your day job maybe you're a contractor you can create a class on 
on some basic building or, or how to renovate something, your, 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 your patio or uh, renovate a door or maybe put some tile in, that could be a fantastic class. Or maybe you're a teacher, then you have a, a wide variety of topics to teach a, an online on an online platform like Skillshare like this. Or if you, let's say like me, you like to draw and you like to uh, design things, then you can make a class on drawing or design or whatever you want to do. Or even if you're not currently working and maybe you're staying at home with your kids, you can make a class on how to best manage your kids while you're staying at home during a long period of time. So you can have like a top 10 activity list. For example, this is just from the top of my head here. You can make a ten, top 10 list of maybe like top 10 activities to do at home with your kids during the week or something like that. You can make a class on pretty much anything. The main thing that I think is holding people back is they, they don't think they're good enough to create a class. Well, the thing is, as long as you're just one step ahead of somebody in that specific topic, then you can teach that next step to the rest of the people that have no idea about the topic that you're teaching. So it doesn't require you to be an all time expert in one subject, you just need to be a little bit ahead of the rest of the majority of people to teach that topic to everyone else. So I hope that's encouraging to you to think about. I really want to open up your mind about what kind of topics and, and content you can teach on online platforms and that way generate some extra income that will then open up even more free time for you to create even more online classes. So it's long, as, as soon as you get that snowball running and you start to see some revenue online, that's going to motivate you to create even more classes and also dig deeper into yourself. You're going to get a lot of ideas as soon as you start thinking about this this concept of creating content online. So back to how to create classes here. This is all you need. You have your video lessons right here. So you upload as many videos as you like. I like to have them be each video around three to five minutes long, something like that. Sometimes they go up to 10, but I try to keep them around five minutes, even though it's hard most times to keep it short. And then you have the class info, you just name your class, class description, and then you have these class projects right here. This is cool because you can engage with your students if you want to and have them make a project for each class. So they have an assignment at the end of each class and then they can upload the result into your class and you can review, give some feedback on that work that the students provide. And last but not least, you need to have a PayPal account to be able to get paid from Skillshare. So how exactly do you get paid from Skillshare? On Skillshare, you get paid between five to 10 cents per minute watch. This means that if your students watch 10,000 minutes, combined across all of your classes in one month, you earn anywhere between 500 to a thousand dollars that month. Teacher payments are awarded in direct proportion to the number of minutes watched by premium students in their classes each month. For example, if 5% of your of all video watch time on Skillshare happened in your classes, you would receive 5% of the royalty pool that month. And the royalty pool is built up by the premium memberships. And of course, teachers can also earn revenue by referring new students to the platform like I'm doing right now by asking you to click my referral link down below to get to weeks of free membership and you earn $10 for each premium member you refer. So I want to show you my revenue month to month here and it's been over two years or maybe three years since I last published a class here on Skillshare and this is my month to month breakdown as of right now January 2021. You can see that my biggest month was in I think March of 2016 with close to three thousand dollars in royalties which is not bad at all and i'm really grateful for that and if i go back up to the current months i'm usually around two to three hundred dollars and this is a hundred percent passive income so i hope this video opened up your mind about what's what's possible online and how easy it is really to create a class today online not just on skillshare but pretty much on any of these online platforms and youtube as well so skillshare is probably the easiest way to get started creating online courses and moving forward here on the channel i'm going to introduce you to other platforms that you might be interested in and that i've used myself that are maybe not as simple as this but they also sometimes have a little bit higher reward because the lower the barrier of entry the lower usually the quality and that's usually how it works and Skillshare is kind of low 
when it comes to barrier of entry, you, you can upload pretty much anything you like. There is no moderators that are checking the quality of the work, but that also gives you an opportunity to stand out by putting in that extra effort in what you produce online. So make it your own, don't try to copy anyone else and put in a little bit of extra effort in your work and that will hopefully get noticed by Skillshare and they might even use it in their marketing materials or in their email marketing and that's happened to me a couple of times in the past. If this video was helpful to you, please make sure you give it a like because it really means a lot to me but I don't really care about that. It means a lot more to the YouTube algorithm and that will mean that this video might be pushed to more people if you just hit that like button, takes, it takes half a second. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure you subscribe because I have a lot more coming this entire year on topics like this and more. Thank you so much for watching. I'm the Sketch Monkey. I will see you in the next video.